Waste Water Treatment by Coagulation Using Moringa Oliveira Where does the wastewater come from? Where does it all go? Let's find out! Basically, everything that leaves the house through the main drain pipe meets up at the sewer. At some places, the combined sewer both wastewater and stormwater. So, everything from inside and outside of our house goes into a single combined sewer and all of it heads over to the wastewater treatment plant. At the wastewater treatment plant, coarse screens remove large solids, rags and debris from wastewater and are immediately disposed out. And at this stage, you will see some of the most ridiculous things that people have thrown down their sinks, drains and sewers. Then, fine screens are used to remove the smaller materials in the same way. Next is grid removal. Grid includes sand and other heavy solid materials that are heavier than the organic solids in the wastewater. Removal of grid happens by getting wastewater to flow in a spiral pattern, where the heavier particles will settle at the bottom of the tank, while the lighter ones will be suspended and eventually carried out of the tank. Then, the water is sent to a settling base where suspended solids settle out and floating scums are removed by skimmers. Scrapers in the tank move continuously along the bottom to deposit raw sludges and are sent to the nearest plant to make pellets for fertilizers. After that, the water is flowing by screw pumps until it meets fine curved screens where small items from the initial screening process are removed. The water then undergoes biological aerated filters and flows into a channel to be treated by UV rays. At the wastewater treatment plant, more than 90% of the pollutants from the wastewater were treated before releasing it back to the Detroit River. And this is important because the Detroit River and surrounding lakes are our primary source of drinking water, agriculture, domestic use and so many more. So, what is a coagulant? Coagulant is a chemical used that is added to the water to withdraw the forces that stabilizes the colloidal particles and causing the particles to suspend in the water. The natural coagulant that is used is Moringa oleifera. Other names for Moringa oleifera is the drumstick tree. It can be used for wastewater treatment. Moringa seeds contains dimeric cationic proteins which absorbs and neutralizes colloidal charges in turbid water, causing the colloidal particles to clump together making the suspended particles easier to remove as sludge by either settling or filtration. Preparation of Moringa oleifera Harvest the seed, including maturation, husk removal and grinding. To obtain the specific size of particles, Moringa oleifera flour. Small particle size will help to reduce some lipid that present in seed. It also reduces turbidity and apparent color in wastewater treatment process. Step 2. Protein Extraction Extract the protein from Moringa oleifera by using salt or distilled water. By using distilled water, increasing in chemical oxygen will help to dissolve organic content which is used in treating wastewater in order to remove solid particles. By using salt, higher amount of soluble protein present in salt solution. Presence of salt will increase the ionic strength, which will increase the solubility of active ingredient. Step 3. Purification In order to obtain pure coagulant by using freeze-drying and distilled water or saline solution, while saline solution will produce rough and dry Moringa oleifera flour. Freeze drying and distilled water will produce soft Moringa oleifera flour. Active components in Moringa oleifera The coagulant properties of dry MO seeds can be obtained by the presence of cationic and water soluble proteins. It is also found that these coagulant properties can also be improved by adding cations. 
it is known that MO trees grow in different geographic area by that the seeds may have different composition based on the growth condition that might affect their protein concentration and coagulating properties. Dimeric cationic properties have been suggested as the active agent that are responsible for coagulation in MO. This is because they have highly cationic nature. Other than that, Organic polyelectrolyte also one of the active agent that act as a thermoresistant protein. Lastly, polyelectrolyte with molecular mass of 3 kDa is one of the active agent also because they have high efficiency coagulant effects. Amino acids from MO seeds act as a buffer just like an absorbent by accepting protons from water or releasing hydroxyl ions. The capability to have positive or negative charges depending on pH that allows MO flour particles to absorb anionic or cationic species. Moringa oleifera lactin protein has a high coagulating activity while water-soluble MO lactin separated from the seed shows high antioxidant and insectidal activity. There are four isoforms of the chitin binding protein that are separated from the MO seeds, which are MOCBP31, MOCBP32, MOCBP33, and MOCBP34. MOCBP31 is a thermostable antifungal and antibacterial that are widely used in water treatment. To focus on biologically active or nutrimental metabolites, liquid chromatography are used in analysis of MO. There are also recent technologies that are being used throughout the processes for structure elucidation. Charge neutralization and destabilized colloids are the predominant mechanisms for pollutant removal using MO. For non-protein organic components, the mechanism is described as a cross-link structure with a network form light that used for sweep coagulation processes. By using Schulz Hardy rule, it seems contrary to the double layer compression coagulation method because charge neutralization could be present because there is H plus presence in solution. Hydrophobic effect between MO proteins and hydrophobic colloids in wastewater also plays a significant role in the treatment of wastewater. Removal mechanisms involved in removing ionic species such as metalloids. Why we use Moringa aloe vera coagulant to treat wastewater treatment? Moringa aloe vera extract and seed treat wastewater better than aluminium sulfate and sand filtration. Aluminium sulfate ability to form multi-charge polynuclear complexes with enhanced absorption characteristic. Sand filtration used as a second step in wastewater treatment after solid raw in wastewater. Moringa aloe vera can destabilize cell membrane and cortical collagen. Next, Moringa aloe vera removes pollutant from municipal wastewater effluent. Next, Moringa aloe vera can reduce the number of helminth eggs in irrigation water. Lastly, Moringa aloe vera can reduce the mortality of ineffective stage of larvae.